Global Trend 2040: A More Contested World. Recently released, intelligence does not claim infallibility for its prophecy. Intelligence merely holds that the answer which it gives is the most deeply and objectively based and carefully considered estimate. By Sherman Kent, the founder of the Office of National Estimate. Global Trend, published March twenty twenty first, but we got this newly、uh, received about three days ago in April. There will be introduction, structural forces, emerging dynamics, scenario for twenty forties. And the、uh, ending with forecast and graphics、uh, regarding the introduction. I think key thing to mention is the COVID nineteen factor expands uncertainty. In structural forces, there are four categories. The first two being most fixed, while the later two depend on the leadership. The first two are demographics and human development, including future global health challenges. And second one is environment, including climate changes. Then followed by economics and technology. And after those、uh, more foreseeable data, then we have more、uh, uncertain yet predictable emerging dynamics. And then finally, issue for the scenarios. So I'll read through this. Forward, welcome to the seventh edition of the National Intelligence Council's Global Trends Report. Published every four years since 1997, Global Trends assess the key trends and uncertainties that will shape the strategic environment for the United States during the next two decades. Global Trend is designed to provide an analytic framework for policymakers early in each administration as they craft national security strategy and navigate an uncertain future. And the goal is not to offer a specific prediction of the world in 2040. Instead, the intent is to help policymakers and citizens, including you and me, to see what may lie beyond the horizon and prepare for a race of a possible future. Now, each edition of Global Trends is a unique undertaking. As the authors on the National Intelligence Council develop a methodology and formulate analysis, the process involves numerous steps. Examining and evaluating previous edition of Global Trend for lessons learned, research and discovery involving widespread consultation, data collections, and commissioned research. Synthesizing, outlining, and drafting, and finally social soliciting, soliciting internal and external feedback to reverse, to revise and sharpen analysis. A central component of the project has been our conversation with the world outside of our security gate. We benefit greatly from ongoing conversation. With estimate academic and researchers across a range of disciplines, anchoring our study in the latest theories and data, we also broaden our contact to hear diverse perspectives, ranging from high school students in Washington D.C. to civil society organizations in Africa, to business leaders in Asia, to foresight practitioners in Europe and Asia, the environmental groups in South America. This discussion offers new ideas, expertise, challenge our assumptions, and help us to identify, understand our bias and the blind spots. Now, one of the key challenge with the projects of this breadth and magnitude is how to organize all the analysis into a story that is coherent, integrated, and forward-looking. We constructed the report around two central organizational principles. 
identifying and assessing broad, broad forces that are shaping the future strategic environment, and then exploring how populations and leaders will act on and respond to the forces. So there's identifying and responding. Based on these organizing principles, we build analysis in three general sections first. We explore the structural forces in four core areas. Now here's the important part. Demographics, environment, economics, and technology. We selected these areas because they are foundational in shaping future dynamics. And relatively universal in scope because we can offer projections with a reasonable degree of confidence based on available data and evidence. Uh, the second section examines how these structural forces interact, intersect with other factors to affect emerging dynamics at three levels of analysis. Individual and society, states, and the international system. Um, the analysis in this section involve a high degree of uncertainty because of the variability of human choices that will be made in the future. We focus on identifying and describing the key emerging dynamics at each level, including what is driving them and how they might evolve over time. And the third section, identify several key uncertainties and use this to create the five future scenarios awaiting for us in 2040. And these scenarios are not intended to be a predictions, but simply widen the possibilities, exploring the combinations and how the structural forces, the dynamics and uncertainties could play out. When exploring the long-term future, another challenge is choosing which issue to cover and emphasize, which one to leave out. We focus on global long-term trends and dynamics that are likely to shape community states and international systems for decades and to present them in a broader context. Accordingly, there is less on other near-term issues and crises. We offer this analysis with humility, knowing that invariability, the future will unfold in ways that we have not foreseen. Although global trend is necessarily more speculative than more, most intelligence assessments, we are on the fundamentals of our analytic tra trade craft. We construct our arg arguments that are grounded in data and appropriately caveated. We show our work and explain what we know and do not know. We consider alternative hypotheses and how we could be wrong. And we do not advocate policy positions or preferences. Global trend reflects the National Intelligence Council's perspective on this future trend. It does not present official coordinate view of the U.S. intelligence community nor U.S. policy. We are proud to publish a report for audience to see, to read, to consider. So it's a good thing for the high school kids, policy maker, to read and determine their future major, their occupation, and how they should live for the remaining of their life. Okay. 